Good morning, everyone. My name is Mandeep Sharma from Zillan Life Global Private Limited, a member company of the Indian Direct Selling Association. So now we are nearing, uh, I guess, close to 30 days of COVID-19 lockdown, and I hope that we will be able to collectively win over this crisis really, really soon, and we can actually get back to on the ground to do business and grow forward. Now, yeah, of course, uh, to understand COVID-19, it has actually been uh, a crisis for, for, for all of us and the industry as well. And of course, we see that the economy is in a complete lockdown and most of the businesses except essential commodities are uh, non-functional at this point in time. Even e-commerce based uh, delivery has been put on hold. There is no travel. So I understand that uh, a lot of us might be wondering what the future holds for us after the COVID-19 crisis ends. I would just want to say a, a few things to all of all of you who, who are listening to me. First of all, we always need to understand that with every crisis, there is also a, an unseen opportunity, you know, which also sort of tests our limits and our own resilience as to how we can come out of it. We all know the economic projections are not so good. We all know that uh, we will be having a significant uh, drop in economic activity as well as the GDP growth of the country as well as the global GDP. But then, of course, uh, economic projections being an important factor, many a times we tend to, you know, overlook a very, very important factor, another important factor, which is known as human optimism. Yeah? And we've seen over the last centuries that humankind has been hit with many different crises, but we as human beings have always emerged victorious. We have always come out of such crises and we have become even stronger coming out of such crises. Now, of course, the dynamics of the business will not remain the same. What we need to understand is that moving forward, most of the companies, most of the most of the businesses would be looking to automate a lot. You know, the primary reason being now there will be a major shift from from productivity. Of course, productivity would be important, but more than productivity, a major focus area for most of the businesses that we see around the world would be business continuity. And uh, to ensure that the business continues, uh, there will be a lot of automation, there will be a lot of changes which, will, which we will see over the next few years in the way business is done. However, it is not going to render us uh, incapable because uh, as you all know direct selling industry uh, first of all in the in the direct selling industry you know automation in the frontline uh, sales team is is absolutely not possible yeah? of course in the back end we might see some automation coming in moving forward but it's it's not possible it's a person to person business and it is somewhat a recession proof business that 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 direct sales is most of the commodities that we are dealing in should fall into the essential commodities as well it's, but but then there needs to be a shift in terms of moving our businesses uh, online you know so there would be a trend where we need to we actually need to you know adapt to this new change and uh, we would have to move our businesses online so so even the companies as well as the direct sellers as well as the stakeholders in this industry have to move towards 
online content. We have to move towards leveraging social media at its maximum potential. We'll have to strategize and develop uh, ideas into ensuring digital marketing gives an added push to what the direct sellers are doing, videos, streams, a lot of things that is possible, which may have been ignored or which may not have been as important till date, will now have to be made important because the business needs to continue. However, I don't see direct selling as an industry may, uh, you know, uh, being hit too hard or having a major setback here because uh, the industry is strong, it is growing. In fact, with, with all, the, all the economic recession that is expected, the bigger economic recession that is expected to happen moving forward uh, would somewhere benefit the direct selling industry in terms of the distributor volume and in terms of the sales volume is what I understand. But yeah, we have to tread carefully, we have to adapt, we have to change and we have to believe that we are gonna change things. We are gonna change the way we do business. We are gonna adapt and improvise on the way we do business so that the business continues and the industry keeps growing the way it is growing today. Yeah, I wish all of you, I wish and pray for all of you that you remain safe, you remain at your homes uh, take adequate precautions. This crisis will be over soon and we will be back. Yeah, so things are very, very good moving forward. That's all I have to say today. Thank you very much, all of you, for giving this time to listen to me. Thanks. Thanks a lot.